So, hi everyone, this is Yoda the Akron, welcome back to uh, Blue Planet. So I am experimenting with the Gamma. Uh, because, well, okay, let's just keep it as is now. Oh, that looks interesting, that's a Lucifer. Okay. <laughs> Our analysts have finished recovering data from the escape pod found in the debris field around Earth. What they found appears to be a recording taken shortly before the escape pod lost main power. An autopsy of the escape pod's inhabitants concluded that they had been dead for several decades. Time stamping data on the footage confirms these findings. Attached is an encrypted copy of the footage, accessible only by those of commander rank and higher. Okay. Let's just do it like this. Okay. This looks really nice. That's a Lucifer class destroyer. Those are Shivan fighters. Modified Elred incoming. Yes. But that's, that's not the modified one, that's the normal one. That's a purple Lucifer actually. Its wings appear to be purple. Not sure if it's a BF red actually or not. Interesting. The information you have just received is classified. Dissemination of said information is punishable under the GTVA Security Act, Deneb Convention. Okay. Let's just keep it like this. And let's go accept. Let's click on accept separation. To the officers and crew of the GTD Arrestees. Our work here is finished. We came here on an intelligence gathering mission, but are left with more questions than when we started. Well, that's for we sure. We traveled here to make contact with Earth, only to find there is no Earth to make contact with. All that is left in this system is death and memories of what used to be. The Shivans were responsible for the death of our world, leaving no survivors. They arrived, destroyed our ships and bombarded Earth, Mars, and every colony in the system. The remnants of the Shivan attack force were encountered and destroyed by our reconnaissance flights. Even after our work here, the hard questions remain. How did the Shivans enter this system? When did the attack occur? Why did our probes send back false information? That's interesting. GTVA Command has not responded to any of our transmissions. Furthermore, we have lost contact with the GTC Duke who has not returned from Delta Serpentis. I have thus ordered the fleet to move back through the node. All future reconnaissance flights are cancelled, and all fighters are to return to dock. 
Now is the time to grieve. It is now time to share news of this tragedy with the rest of the lost generation. Interesting. For the attention of Commander Samuel Bay, your transfer request to the Orseus has been approved. It will take place upon successful arrival to Delta Serpentis. I must admit to some surprise and relief upon your return to the Orestes after the Shivan ambush. I am sure your mother would have been very proud of you. I know we both have had our differences in the past, but your mother would not have wished this rift between us. Oh, okay. Send me a communique when you have the chance. So it's it's her mother who died, and that's the reason why his father is angry with him or of him. Yeah, probably in the Capella massacre. Yeah, we've got the situation, pilots. One hour ago, the Orestes and her battle group exited from the Sol Jump Node. Centaur Station and the Sol Portal are nowhere to be found. We are also unable to get in contact with GTVA Command. Admiral Bay has ordered a red alert until the current situation has been resolved. Junior of a thousand miles. We've picked up the GTC Duke on long-range sensors heading towards the Ross 128 jump node. She is not responding to our hails and has not shifted course. This qualifies as desertion under the GTVA Security Convention and thus the Duke and her captain are considered rogue. We are sending a wing out to apprehend the Duke before she jumps through the node. Bay, you are the most experienced pilot in this squadron. You will be taking Taylor and Corey as Alpha Wing. In case the Duke jumps out before you, you are to follow the Duke through to Ross 128. To this end, the Orestes flight deck has prepared jump-capable fighters for you to fly. Try to keep them intact, will you? Okay. Let's do that. Orestes Control, we have a visual on the Duke. She is five kilometers from the Ross 128 jump node. Alpha 1 to the GTC Duke. You are ordered to power down your engines. Do this immediately or we will disable you by force. This will be your only warning. Oh my goodness. Oh, what the hell I got that. I got scared. Oh man. RSC's control, the Duke has sent a transmission. We are unable to determine the message. Confirm. Over. Confirmed, Alpha Wing. It looks like encrypted transmission data. Attempting to decrypt it now. The GTC Duke has not halted its progress to the node. Corey, Taylor, target the Duke's engines. Open fire! What the? We've got human fighters jumping in. Alpha Wing, engage evasive maneuvers. What the hell are Shivans doing in Delta Serpentis? Okay, so this. Uh, this actually makes no sense. I have to agree with that. And the Duke is firing on... ...on them. Okay, so this is a Hyperion class vessel. But it's not possible to. S it's not really possible to. Roger that. Disabling engines. Oh my goodness. What is happening? You escape through the jump node. 
Acknowledge, pilots. Jumping after her, but be careful. We're sending the Temeraire after you into Ross 128. She'll be supporting your operation there. Orestes Control, out. This is engine failure. Oh, okay, that was a big log. Oh, downloading new orders. Makes sense. Personal log, Commander Bay. A lot has happened. None of it seems real. Ever since we went through the portal, everything has just been one big nightmare. A dead Earth, Sheevans, the disappearance of Centaur Station and Command, and now the GTC Duke, whose crew seems to have either mutinied or gone plain crazy. What was that message they sent us? As I write this entry, my fighter wing is about to enter Ross 128 to apprehend the Duke. GTVA forces in the area should be able to assist us. But somehow, I don't think there's going to be anyone there when we arrive. That's correct. Okay, so I'm going to end the recording here and we'll continue further. So thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one.